While there's nothing joyous about what happened that day 73 years ago, we still remember and celebrate those who lived World War II while they still live among us. These are the rock stars of their generation, the greatest generation. And while we remember what happened on this day 73 years ago, it's different, more vivid, seeing it through the eyes of them and hearing what they remember. We were getting breakfast and we heard this tremendous roar overhead and we went outside to see what was going on. And there must have been a hundred planes flying right over our house. 98-year-old Bob Hardaway was a medic in the Army during the attack and chief of the trauma center at the hospital here in Honolulu. Just as I was going into the hospital, an ambulance came roaring in. And I ran over and opened the back door. And there were four soldiers in there just blown apart. One of them was already dead. And I knew then this was a war. Doc Hardaway worked all day long on the wounded. That night, they weren't allowed to turn on the lights. So Hardaway continued to work under a blanket with a flashlight. After working nonstop until the next morning, Hardaway said he was tired and wanted to rest. But he heard President Franklin D. Roosevelt on the radio, and he said, We declare war on Japan. And uh, then they played the Star Spangled Banner. Hardaway says it was this part that gave him the strength to go back to work. Hardaway doesn't recall how many lives he saved in those two days, but he says he would do it all over again if he could. And that is why they are called the greatest generation. It's something I can never say thank you enough for, but I thank you for your sacrifice that you made then and that you're still making now. Chelsea Davis, Hawaii News Now.